Hello everyone, coming clean here. Today I'm playing some Skylanders Spice Adventure and I'm going to showcase my four favorite Skylanders from that game. And I'm also going to tell you why they are my favorites. Let's get right into it. All right, here we are at the Goo Factory and I'm playing as my first favorite, Spyro. And why do I like Spyro so much? Of course, he is a cool purple dragon. I know that this sounds like blasphemy to some of you, but uh, I actually like his design in the Skylanders games more than the original design from the PlayStation 1 era. With Spyro, you are encouraged to never slow down at all. You have your main attack, the fireballs. You have the secondary attack, the ram ability. And the tertiary attack, the flight ability. And as you can see, you can spew fireballs at the same time as you fly. And you can also land and immediately transition to a ram. And go back to flight. You can land and ram and go back to flying. I mean, it works so well. And you can also charge up his fireball. You can land and ram. As you can see, I defeat these enemies. Not that it's all that hard, but I defeat them without ever stopping my motion. And that's why I like Spire so much. He also has another ability. If you fly and press the ram ability while flying, you do this ground pound. 50 damage to one enemy is definitely good, but you can damage all enemies around you as well. And that's why I like Spyro so much. This momentum based playstyle that... Yeah, you can see there, the damage there from the ground pound. It slows you down, but it's a lot of damage. I don't think any other scanner has this momentum based playstyle that Spyro does. And it also fits his personality very well. I think it's, uh, yeah, the whole Spyro package is something that is very appealing to me. All right, moving on to my next favorite. All right, here we are at Stormy Stronghold and my second favorite, Stealth Elf. And why is she one of my favorite characters from this game? Well, first of all, it's representation. I'm not gonna lie. I'm the father of two little girls and female representation in video games is very important to me because I want them to be as passionate about video games as I am and then you need strong female characters and I think Stealth Elf is a good representation of just that for various reasons that I won't elaborate on now. Now we're going to talk about the actual character. She has her main attack where you can just slice up your enemies and you can also do a combo by holding the button the third time and she makes this little leap and I have her on the blade path, not fully upgraded, but I am on the blade path. And then she has two more combos. She can do this little poison breath and this little uh, dashing around attack. None of them are all that effective, to be honest. But one of her abilities that I like the most is this one, which is her little leap she does. You use it to get in. Or if the things to get to Harry, if the chomp is became, becomes too much, you can just leap out of combat as well. And of course he has a little sneaking attack. Where you can ca catch your enemies unawares. Yes, you can see she is quite effective in combat as well. She feels very powerful and quick, you know, her play is very quick, she puts combat, very snappy, the, just the sound effects from uh, when you hit your enemies. That is why Stealth Elf is one of my favorite characters from Skyline Spires Adventure. Moving on to the next character. And here we are at Treetop Terrace and I'm playing as Camo. Yes, another character of the life element. So sue me, I'm a biologist, I like the life element, it's the best element. You have this very simple main attack where you just shoot this uh, energy beam. I might have mentioned that uh, I am a high school science teacher. Uh, energy beams are not a thing, just so you know. I think the design of him is just um, just amazing. His tail, his looks very animal-like but still very, very plant-like, which of course is completely unrealistic, but it looks cool. I mean, just his tail is a sort of a leaf. His second attack is actually one of my favorite attacks in the entire game, Firecracker Vines. I am on the Firecracker Vines path, and as you can see, you shoot a bunch of, not a bunch, two Firecracker Vines. 
whatever that is. But they, at least they produce exploding melons that do quite some damage and they are also explosive area of effect damages so they can damage enemies all around themselves. Third attack is melon fountain. You dig yourself on the ground and then you throw around five melons in all directions. But I like the vines more. I think they are... Um, I think the total damage output you can get from them is higher. And I also like to use them in combat more. It makes you think a bit more about your enemy's positions. So that's what I like Camo. He has some insane damage output. I really like the way he looks. And he's also a character where you have to play a bit more strategically. So overall, Camo is a really fun character. He's usually not that expensive either if you're planning on purchasing this game if you haven't already. That is why I like Camo so much. Moving on to my fourth favorite Skylander in Spire's Adventure. All right, here we are with my fourth favorite, Warnado. This is a character that is very unique, I have to say. The main reason being his main attack. You have, there's no projectile, there's no sword slash, no anything like that. You just dash forward in a straight line and he buries himself in his shell. You also have this sort of flight ability that speeds you up. And when you use it, you can throw away mini turtles. That does decent damage and they, you move quite quickly when you are flying as well. His secondary attack are these tornadoes. They go further if you hold them and then they can also lift enemies up into the sky and it transfers them out of combat for a bit. It can be quite useful strategically. One and interesting thing about this, uh, the tur the turtle shoot while you're in your tornado, if you shoot them all and they start to recharge after a while. But if you go in and out of th this the flight ability, you recharge them all instantly. So why is Warnado my favorite? But once again, I really like the way he looks. I think that is something <laughs> that is common among all your favorite skyliners from whichever game you are from. You need to have a physical appeal. And also I really like the way he plays. He's also very momentum based. But at the same time you can also be quite strategic. You can lift enemies up into the air with your tornadoes or you can fly around and you sort of just sort of kite enemies and use uh, you, this as a spacing tool. And as you can see when many enemies are clustered together the damage output from just your main attack is really good as well. Bigger enemies, like these ones, they do stop you in your tracks. Little chomp, you, you just uh, slide straight through. So the attack is a bit more effective when there are many weaker enemies around. That's actually one of Warnado's weaknesses. He's not all that powerful against uh, a single strong target. But he has the movement going for him. He is powerful under the right circumstances. And he is very versatile. That's why I like Warnado so much. If you also like Warnado, perhaps you'll like my in-depth Skylander analysis that I did about Warnado, where I go through him quite thoroughly, I would have to say. You can watch the video by clicking on the video appearing on screen right now. But that will be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Kamal Green, and I will see you next time. Take care.